Shabbat Shalom and Happy Hanukkah, Temple Beth Hillel. This week in our two minutes of Torah, we discuss Parshat Miketz. Whenever I hear or read this Torah portion, even in the midst of our celebration of Hanukkah, I think back to a musical. Way, way back many centuries ago, not long after the Bible began. In this Torah portion, we're going to read the story of Joseph. He is going to be in Egypt in a pit and in jail, and he is going to dream. Jacob and Joseph and his dreams have gotten him into challenge before, and this time they're going to help him and in the end help all of the nation of the children of Israel. Joseph is going to help to interpret the dreams of the Pharaoh. He will be able to imagine what the years of famine and of abundance are going to be like in order to protect the nation of Egypt. And it is, of course, for this reason that eventually Joseph will be reunited with his family, with his brothers, even after their challenges and sibling rivalry. This Shabbat is also the Shabbat of Hanukkah, a time in the darkest nights of the year when we are able to bring light into the world, not just from our homes, but we hope the miracle of Hanukkah will be that everyone will have the opportunity to experience light, to experience joy, to experience abundance, and perhaps have the ability to have their dreams fulfilled like Joseph. I hope that you are having a beautiful and joyous and light-filled Hanukkah and that Shabbat will be one and the same. A quick reminder, of course, that we light our Hanukkiah before we light our Shabbat candles, so make sure that you do things in the order as they are prescribed by our tradition. And if you don't, I won't tell anyone. But that is the way to do it. Hanukkah candles first and then Shabbat. I hope you'll join us for Shabbat services this special night as we bring light into the world and into our congregation, lighting our Hanukkiah and Shabbat candles. May this be a beautiful and peaceful Shabbat. May the final Shabbat of the year 2016 be one of joy and peace for all peoples. Shabbat Shalom.